Agelosaurus is the oldest known member of the lineage leading to large Cretaceous marine reptiles called mosasaurs, a group most closely related to snakes among living squamates, exclusively found in Croatia. Geochemical and isotopic data are most compatible with Pannoniosaurus having lived in a predominantly freshwater ecosystem, and evidence suggests strongly that it was not a seasonal migrant from marine waters into fresh, but rather that ecologically it was a permanent member of a freshwater fauna. The skull structure of plate carpus is unique among mosasaurs. This genus is characterized by a short skull, and has fewer teeth than any other mosasaur. Part of the digestive tract is also preserved and is filled with mid-sized fish remains. The name Plesioplate Carpus was erected by Takuya Konishi and Michael Caldwell in 2011 to incorporate Plate Carpus, which was found to be distinct from Plate Carpus in a phylogenetic analysis. Hyenosaurus was one of the largest mosasaurs, however its actual size is a subject of ongoing study. It was also one of the top marine predators of the late Cretaceous, it was probably a generalist predator of other large marine organisms. Whereas Tyrannosaurus is dubbed the land predator of the late Cretaceous, Tylosaurus would have equally been the predator of the late Cretaceous seas. Like other mosasaurs, it relied upon their tails to propel themselves though the water and the overall body shape was adapted to be as hydrodynamic as possible. Dallasaurus is described by the term plesiopedal to indicate a conservative ecologically adaptive grade characterized by small size, slightly modified swimming tail and relatively plesiomorphic limb condition compared to more derived mosaroids. Globidans was somewhat uniquely adapted to take advantage of hard-shelled food resources, in addition to a generally robust skull, its teeth are designed for crushing, rather than piercing or tearing. Therefore, it is believed that Globidens was a Europhagus predator. Though undoubtedly similar to Globidens in its dental adaptations, Igdomenosaurus represented a completely new type of Europhagus mosasaur that was derived from a plate carpus like ancestor. Like its relatives, it lived in warm, shallow seas. Prognathodon is known for its massively built jaws and teeth. Its distinct feeding adaptations have generated much interest in its ecology ever since its discovery, though direct evidence of its diet, such as gastric residues, is rare. Mosaurus was discovered at a time before anyone had even discovered evolution or even, dinosaurs. At the time it was discovered, it was assumed to have been a whale. Paleontologists believe that its diet consisted of fish and squids. The movie Jurassic World exaggerated its size dramatically. Plotosaurus possessed several adaptations to marine life not seen in other mosasaurs. Compared with their relatives, they had narrower flippers, large tail fins and a streamlined fusiform body shape. These features probably enabled them to be faster swimmers than most other mosasaurs. Adriosaurus is an extinct genus of aquatic lizard. This is the first fossil record of vestigial limbs and lizards, and gives scientists a glimpse back to the time when terrestrial lizards evolved to be limbless and returned to their watery origins. It was quite similar to Dilichosaurus, which paleobiology is reconstructed like modern sea snakes. Tetrapodophis is one of the oldest snakes and the only known snake with four legs. Nevertheless, it shares many characteristics with modern snakes, including an elongate body, short tail, broad belly scales, a skull with a short snout and long brain case, curved jaws and sharp hooked teeth. Like the Coniophis, it probably ate small vertebrates.
the loss of limbs in Apodophis may have been the result of changes in Hox genes, genes that specify the development specific regions of the body. Because Hox genes are involved in determining specific features of the axial skeleton, the loss of limbs would also result in the loss of cervical vertebrae that are near them. This loss is also seen in Pacrahotches and modern snakes but not legless lizards, which may be far less common because some other factor besides Hox genes were involved in the loss of their limbs. The loss of forelimbs and reduction of hind limbs in Apodophis was likely an adaptation for swimming. Like with other huge prehistoric snakes Gigantophis was a constrictor that squeezed the life out of its prey rather than using venom. Gigantophis could have used its size to tackle almost any moderately sized prey. Elephant trunk snake is nocturnal. It is fully adapted to live underwater so much that its body cannot support its weight out of water and leaving the water can cause it serious injury. It can stay underwater up to 40 minutes. An excellent swimmer, reticulated python has been reported far out at sea and has colonized many small islands within its range. They are among the few snakes that prey on humans. Attacks on humans are not common but this species has been responsible for several reported human fatalities. Gaboon vipers have a reputation for being slow-moving and placid. They usually hunt by ambush, often spending long periods motionless, waiting for suitable prey to pass by. Bites from this species are extremely rare, due to their unaggressive nature and because their range is limited to rainforest areas. The other common name, Sidewinder, alludes to its unusual form of locomotion, which is thought to give it traction on wind-blown desert sand, but this peculiar locomotor specialization is used on any substrate over which the Sidewinder can move rapidly. Dinagastrodon is generally discovered by day on rocks or among vegetation along banks of streams, or in firewood near houses. When encountered it may appear sluggish at first, but it is capable of striking vigorously when threatened. Malagasy leaf-nosed snake is largely a sit and wait predator. It may show curious resting behavior, hanging straight down from the branch. It is generally calm and reluctant to bite unless provoked. Envenomation by the snake causes severe pain in humans, but is not deadly. On the island of Okinawa, Okinawa hibu is heavily collected, primarily for use in hibu sake. In this case, the sake is a liquor called awamari, alleged to have medicinal properties. The venom of this species is of high toxicity, containing cytotoxin and hemorrhagin components. Black Mamba is capable of striking at considerable range and may deliver a series of bites in rapid succession. Its venom is primarily composed of neurotoxins that often induce symptoms within 10 minutes and is often fatal unless antivenom is administered. The turtle-headed sea snake feeds solely on immobile dimersal fish eggs. Its populations tend to stay where they are and rarely move between territories. This could possibly be related to the spatial memory of snakes and their ability to remember where nests are located. The king cobra is a prominent symbol in the mythology and folk traditions of South Asia. It is a dangerous snake that has a fearsome reputation in its range, although it typically avoids confrontation with humans when possible. The inland taipan is the most venomous snake in the world. Based on the median lethal dose value in mice, 
Its venom is by far the most toxic of any snake. It is usually quite a shy and reclusive snake, with a placid disposition and prefers to escape from trouble. The yellow-bellied sea snake, as the name implies, has a distinctive bicolor pattern with a yellow underbelly and brown back, making it easily distinguishable from other sea snake species. It is one of the most widely distributed snakes in the world. Paradise tree snake glide by stretching the body into a flattened strip using its ribs. It is mostly found in moist forests and can cover a horizontal distance of about 100 meters in a glide from the top of a tree. Slow motion photography shows an undulation of the snake's body in flight while the head remains relatively stable, suggesting controlled flight. Common egg eater feeds exclusively on eggs. The lining of the mouth has small, parallel ridges, very similar to human fingerprints, which aid in grasping the shell of an egg. Once swallowed, the egg is punctured by specialized vertebral hypopophyses which extend into the esophagus. The shell is then regurgitated in one piece. When tiger keelbacks are challenged at cooler temperatures they tend to demonstrate passive anti-predator responses such as flattening their neck and body and lying still while at higher temperatures they more frequently flee instead. The warmer climate of the earth during the time of Titanoboa allowed cold-blooded snakes to attain much larger sizes than modern snakes. Analysis of the cranial elements of Titanoboa possess unique features, this has pointed to the genus being dominantly piscivorous, a trait unique to Titanoboa among all boids. The green anaconda is the heaviest and one of the longest known extant snake species. It spends most of its life in or around water, it tends to float beneath the surface of the water with their snouts above the surface. When prey passes by or stops to drink, it will strike and coil around it with its body, then constrict until it has suffocated the prey, 